Hello, my name is Green, and today I'm back with another episode of Build School. This time I'm tackling pillars, which has been suggested to me quite a few times over the course of the Build School series. I needed to do a very quick video today, so I decided pillars was probably best. They're very simple to do, and you're probably going to see a lot of pillars that look a little something like this, just a singular block, fence, or just stone. And while these are okay, you're obviously here to learn how to make them a lot better. So first of all, we can just take our straight up stone pillar and add some very simple staircases just to give it that extra support and it looks a lot nicer. But we can take that one step further. We can replicate exactly the same thing again, but this time we can knock out the middle and add some gates while also adding some textured blocks at the top and bottom. And what this does is even very small amounts like the quarter of a block size, it gives the nice layer of depth. And again, I'm doing it here just by adding a very simple fence block in the middle. Obviously on their own, these pillars look a bit silly, but when you add them and integrate them with arches, they're going to look a lot nicer. So next up, I'm just going to create a very small cross section of pillar with quartz block, which is what probably most of you are after when you make a pillar such as this. What is very important about pillars in general is that you work on the top and the bottom having some sort of detail. On this one, I'm making sure that the base looks really nice and a mixture of staircase blocks and hearth slab really do that nicely. You can tell how I'm using them to integrate them into the pillar itself. And by doing so, we filter their eyes into the middle, which is where we want the focus to be. And on top of that, we want a very tall pillar. The dimensions of a pillar is very important. When you have something very stumpy and you funnel their eyes into the middle, it can be really underwhelming. So you can see that all of my dimensions are in proportion to each other, and that's really important. And that's what I'm going to show you here with this big pillar that I am now creating using a tad bit of world edit. And I also want to point out the importance of having a very good shape on the bottom. If your base is wrong, the rest of the pillar is going to be wrong. You need to have a very good circle, and I'm assuming you're doing a circle for this kind of pillar. So you want to make sure that your pillar matches the bottom and the top perfectly. So I'm just gonna world edit it to save myself some time, but you can see that this pillar looks kind of nice. However, we can do something more to further improve it. And what I'm going to do is just shave off another layer to create an extra layer of depth. And you can see that that's instantly helped your eyes funnel into the middle and the dimensions match a lot nicer. The proportion of the height of the pillar and the base at the bottom and the top, they match really well and they sort of complement each other. When you're making a pillar, you need to take a step back, take a good look at it and decide whether this is going right or wrong for you. And don't forget, you can detail your pillar however you like. It can be overly complicated or just simple like I've done. Next, I'm moving on to a very square base. For these, I like to try and keep them nice and detailed as a square one is going to look rather bad if it hasn't got any detail in it. So you can see, I'm just showing you a couple of examples. In the middle, you could add a nice little extension piece and in the center, you can add some color and try and keep as much elements of depth as possible. I'm adding staircases in the middle there just to sort of add a little extra detail. And you can see this pillar kind of works. And again, on its own, they do look a little bit silly. I know it's not perfectly symmetrical top to bottom, but I was just showing you a few examples. So that's that one there. Very easy to do. And once integrated into an archway, it will look really nice. The big one, however, is for your grand design peoples. And you can see that it is lacking a little bit of detail, but that's up to you how you want to do that. I'm mainly trying to tell you how you can do shapes. And this little one here is probably my favorite as it's a really nice shape and size. And then here are the little ones where I showed you just the importance of adding minor details if you're doing something small. So that's it from me, everyone. Those are the pillar designs I wanted to show you today. I'm very sorry for this extraordinarily short video of mine. I don't normally do something this short, but I am so, so busy. I'm actually working on a huge update for my network, Wincraft, and I'm doing a live stream this Friday at 9 p.m. English time if you want to come and join me. It will be entirely based around my game, Wincraft, and I hope to see a lot of you there. 
It's a very cool MMORPG in Minecraft if you haven't already heard of it. I know that a few of my subs, my base subscribers that have been there since probably the very beginning are from Wingcraft itself, so I will be very happy to introduce you to the new game where this extraordinary update is coming out and I've, it has occupied so much of my time and I haven't wanted to tell most of you new subscribers that perhaps don't know my Wingcraft background, I've kind of kept it from you because I wanted to wait for this update which is completely game changing. So that's it from me everyone, I hope to see you on the live stream. I will put a link in the description to the forum post that I made on the Wingcraft website and I, well, I hope to see you there. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.